Salve, sono Paolo Nespoli, astronauta italiano dell'Agenzia Spaziale Europea. Come forse alcuni di voi ricorderanno, nel marzo del 2012 ci siamo già visti all'Evienido Foundation e nel Psychico College. L'accoglienza allora era stata molto calorosa e anche oggi avrei voluto essere con voi di persona. Purtroppo però sono impegnato in un'interessante esercitazione sottoterra in Sardegna, si chiama Caves e se volete troverete tutte le informazioni del caso in rete. In ogni caso, lo scopo di questo video saluto è di darvi il benvenuto all'evento Notte dei ricercatori, che tra l'altro quest'anno per la prima volta l'ESA celebra in contemporanea ad Atene e a Frascati. Saluto perciò tutti i partecipanti appassionati dello spazio dei due eventi, voi nella prestigiosa sala Themocritos ad Atene e di pubblico italiano a Esdrin, sede dell'Agenzia Spaziale Europea a Frascati. Noi dell'Agenzia Spaziale Europea siamo felici di aver contribuito sin dal 2010 alla promozione delle attività spaziali in Grecia insieme ai nostri collaboratori come Marina Ieoriu dell'Università di Atene e anche attraverso il nostro sito www.esa.int anche in lingua greca. Ora, per scaldare un po' l'atmosfera, vi ho preparato un video sulla mia esperienza sulla Stazione Spaziale Internazionale. Godetevelo! Ci vedremo presto di persona, alla prossima opportunità. Ciao! Hello, I'm Paolo Nespoli, an Italian astronaut of the European Space Agency, board engineer of Expedition 27, and I'm speaking to you from the International Space Station, orbiting Earth some 400 kilometers above your head. Clear, welcome on board of the Columbus, uh, European Columbus Laboratory on the International Space Station. Paolo, there's quite a big delay, I'm afraid. I think some seven or eight seconds, but how are you feeling? You've been up there a month. Very good, very good. The launch was uh, very nice. Uh, everything went uh, pretty good. Uh, two days on this uh, small uh, vehicle, uh, which is the, Rus the Russian Soyuz uh, spacecraft. But then we docked to the station, and here we are in our home, in our laboratory, and it's very nice to be here. Said, uh, the small vehicle Soyuz, because I think you're six foot six or six foot seven, a bit of a tight squeeze for you to get in there. Was that uncomfortable, the journey up? Actually, I'm 6'2", uh, but it, even at 6'2", it's, uh, it's quite, uh, I wouldn't say uncomfortable. The, the, the Soyuz was uh, made for a smaller uh, people. In fact, I had to make a little mo modification on the seat to fit me in there, but, but it's okay. I mean, once, uh, once you, are, you are in space, uh, everything, even small spaces, get this three-dimensional effect, so you can have people on the, on the ceiling, either on the floor, either on the walls. So it gets uh, a little bit more comfortable. The important thing, though, is not uh, comfort, uh, but it's the fact that the Soyuz is a very reliable spacecraft, uh, and all these years has been a proven spacecraft can take people from Earth up in space and back to Earth without uh, problems. Seven meters away, standing by for contact and capture. Locking confirmed. A multinational crew has arrived at the International Space Station in time for the holidays. Paolo Nespoli, receiving greetings from Alexander Caleri, the International Space Station, back to a six-person crew. Frank, how's it going? It's nice to be here again. Everybody is uh, very happy to see you on board with the start of the EDA Magistra mission, and uh, we're all sure that you will do a great job there. Thank you, Frank. Thank you for everybody taking care of everything. We are ready here for, for being of help up here and uh, carry out all the tasks.
rendezvous is extremely complex and when you see such a big uh, spacecraft uh, arriving towards the station uh, at a precise uh, distance from the target, it, it, you really f figure out how important it is to be uh, capable of doing this uh, activity in a good way. ATV has a lot of supplies for the station but also contains a lot of personal items, clothing for us, uh, uh, shirts with our emblem, uh, for example the Magistra emblem which is the ISA name for this uh, mission. It has also the Italian flags and the ISA flags. Booster ignition and the final liftoff of Discovery. We spend 50% of our time to carry out experiments, to be other test subject, uh, or to be uh, to perform experiments uh, in order to to learn things and give data to our scientists on Earth. Isa Estek, uh, this is the International Space Station. Welcome on board. Mission X uh, is essentially an education uh, project where we use uh, uh, the activity we do normally as uh, astronauts and we, we make uh, young people try to replicate this activity. The trip back is uh, fairly interesting. This uh, little capsule uh, works uh, pretty nicely. Um, it's a little bit rough, uh, to be honest. Uh, fairly big and I fill up every little millimeter left of the capsule. It's really an experience. Uh, to transfer yourself from space to the ground, you have to go through this gruesome, grueling uh, re-entry um, event, uh, which, uh, which is really pretty, pretty rough. Hi George, uh, your question is uh, very interesting. Can we see any human activity while here on, in space? And the answer is uh, yes and no. No if you just take a cursory look outside and usually you get to see the ocean, clouds, uh, or even uh, ground. And especially during the day it's very difficult to see any sign of human activity if you don't look uh, carefully. Uh, different uh, is at night, at night all the lights, all the cities are kind of lit up and it's like a Christmas tree so it's really really easy to see there are humans. Uh, yes, uh, we can see, though we can see signs of human activities and, uh, and we have a definite, definite impact on uh, our planet so we really need to be careful on what we are doing and preserve it. But let's see, we are here near the cupola, let's see uh, if we can see anything. I will take you and drag you with me. Let's see, so we have, we are, we are over, oh, look at that there. You probably will be able to see that there are contrails there. This is already a sign of uh, human activity. There are the coast, there are the cities there. And as I see on the, on the, it's very difficult to, to actually appreciate all of this to a kind of an untrained eyes. But if you look carefully, especially when we use our uh, camera with lenses, we can see roads, there it is, you can see roads all over the place. See? So there are, uh, there are a lot of sign of uh, human activities here. And actually, you know, we've been uh, trying to photograph uh, the the oh let's see look look at that look at that look at that there's a lake and here that's a little do you see all sort of this uh, 
places where people have been uh, cultivating things near this lake, taking advantage of uh, the water there. So we I'm here today because I like to uh, answer to some questions that arrived on YouTube. I have a question here from Spain. Let's see. Paolo Nespoli, hello from Malaga, Spain. My name is uh, Jose Maria Ortega Hernandez. I'm 17 years old and my question is which uses will you give to the Johannes Kepler ATV? When this ESA device reached the ISS, could you show us on its inside and what does it provides with you? Thank you for everything and I hope you continue doing well for the rest of your mission on board of the ISS. Thank you very much. Jose Maria Ortega Hernandez. Well, Jose Maria, we are here now in the Russian segment and uh, you know what? We are going to go and talk uh, right on the ATV. We need to be quiet because it's late at night and everybody is sleeping so we don't want to wake up anybody. But let's go in there and, uh, and we will see and we'll show you the ATV. through several uh, hatches and now here we are in ATV and now we can talk about uh, the questions here and actually let me do something I will fix the camera so I don't have to hold which users will you give to the Johannes Kepler ATV so ATV it's uh, an automatic transport uh, vehicle which means it's uh, it's a vehicle that should fly by itself all the way up here to the International Space Station and it actually brings us supplies experiments, uh, cargo, uh, water, uh, fuel, uh, oxygen, I mean everything that is needed uh, for life here on the International Space Station. You have to imagine this is like a truck, a big truck that will arrive to your house and gives you everything you need for several months of, uh, of work there. We already took out some of the stuff here but uh, we will show you in a little bit, we'll, we'll give you a little tour and see what we have inside. Um, it reached uh, uh, the ISS at the end of uh, February and it will stay here several months because we will take out all this equipment. A lot of this is uh, stuff that we will, that is needed. You know what, the lights are not all. Let's turn on the lights. Yeah, we usually try to conserve uh, energy here on board of the space station. All our energy is uh, derived from uh, the sun, and therefore we usually shut down everything that all the lights that we are not uh, we don't need. So, um, you want to know what uh, what it provides us? So let's take a, a look at what uh, is still inside here. Here, let's go. Ah, uh, here it is. This is some food. These are containers uh, with food. Uh, this is uh, what is called a Tivas uh, uh, motor uh, box. This is uh, actually an equipment for uh, um, physical fitness. Let's see what there is in here. Uh, food again. See, as you see, it's, uh, it's a lot of uh, um, food, personal items. Let's see here what we have. We have a FCF Ipsu, to be honest, I don't know what it is. It's probably a spare part for some kind of equipment. Uh, let's see, this is another, what we call ORU, uh, which means uh, it's something that we can, ah, multi-filtration ORU, okay. This is uh, our system. Yeah, as, as I was telling you, here on uh, the station we don't, uh, we try to conserve as much as possible and water is really precious. So we do recycle water and we do, need uh, filters that we periodically throw away uh, because they really capture the impurities that cannot be recycled. That's all for the moment. Uh, I'd like to say uh, thank you to you for your question. Hello to Spain, hello to Malaga and uh, we'll see you again. Take care. Ciao.
Woo!